The Progressive Movement offers many great ideas for History Day topics, including those which center around suffrage and other reforms. Let's go ahead and begin with Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony and voting illegally. Susan B. Anthony would be a great topic for History Day. While she was involved in anti-slavery campaigns and fought for temperance, she is best remembered as a suffragette. Susan B. Anthony decided to vote illegally in the 1872 presidential election in Rochester, New York, along with 15 other women. As a leader, she was the only one arrested and tried for voting illegally. She hoped that the trial would allow her to prove that she had a right to vote under the Constitution and that this in turn would allow all women the right to vote. She was found guilty, however, and Judge Hunt ordered her to pay a $100 fine. She refused to pay the fine as she felt it was unjust. While she lost the trial technically, she'd won the support of other suffragettes. Others followed her in voting illegally, and others, like Alice Paul, felt she was courageous and took direct action in the fight for women's suffrage in honor of her tactics and memory. Susan B. Anthony would be a great subject. Next, let's take a look at the National Women's Party. You might remember this from such great movies as Iron Jot Angels. When Alice Paul and Lucy Burns created the National Women's Party in 1913, the women's suffrage movement was moving slow. The National Women's Party decided to fight for suffrage using militant tactics and focusing instead on a constitutional amendment, which they hoped would be speedier. The National Women's Party picketed the White House using President Wilson's own language against him. For over a year, rain or shine, members of the National Women's Party continued to picket. When World War I began, they continued to picket and were arrested. Rather than pay a fine and admit their guilt, they saw themselves as political prisoners and chose time at the workhouse instead. While there, they supported Alice Paul's hunger strike and joined in and continued to picket, filling the jails and protesting. When news leaked of the hunger strike and treatment of the National Women Party members inside the workhouse, public support shifted in their favor. In the end, the actions of the National Women's Party spurred support for women's suffrage and led to the eventual passing of the 19th Amendment. This is a must-look-at topic. Finally, let's take a look at the Women's Christian Temperance Union. This is another interesting topic led by women during the Progressive Era, and that was the fight for temperance. In the mid-1800s, studies linked alcohol use to problems with families. Some saw alcoholism as an evil that needed to be ended to protect families. The Women's Crusade swept through New York, and in November of 1874, in that spirit, the Women's Christian Temperance Union was formed to fight for temperance or abstaining from alcohol. Over the next few years, the Women's Christian Temperance Union grew in power and became the most powerful women's group of its day. Under the leadership of Frances Willard, they added other goals, women's suffrage, labor reforms, and even the reform of jails. This group fought to better society. In the end, they focused on temperance and found a measure of success when prohibition passed in the 18th Amendment. There are many other great topics under suffrage and reform, like the League of Women Voters, or Upton Sinclair look at the meatpacking industry in the jungle. See your history teacher for more details.